Noise. Relentless sound and its effect on the body is only now being researched little by little. Noise is always disturbing, but there are strategies for dealing with the din. Some are easy, and the effect can be tested immediately. Noise is also generated in the plastic processing industry, for example through the pneumatic conveying of granulate through metal pipes. In these pipes, the transported material is accelerated to high speeds. At these speeds, the particles are dashed against the inside of the pipes, thousands of times every second. This produces, among other things, noise. With Silent Line, Motan Colortronic has developed a pipe that has been specifically designed for noise insulation, enabling noise reduction of 12 decibels or more. Die Silent Line ist noch ein relativ neues System. Es gibt aber schon Großkunden, die das installiert haben und da sind die Reaktionen wirklich positiv, weil da wird gefragt, haben wir denn Probleme mit der Förderung, wir hören gar nichts. Dazu muss man natürlich sagen, man befindet sich nicht in einer geräuscharmen Umgebung, sondern es laufen Verarbeitungsmaschinen. Es ist also ein gewisser Grundgeräuschpegel vorhanden, aber immer dann, wenn mehrere Leitungen fördern, dann ist die Förderung oft das dominierende Element. Und äh, wenn jetzt die Silent Line vorhanden ist, dann sind die Geräuschpegel teilweise so niedrig, dass sie im restlichen Geräuschpegel fast untergehen. Und dann kam schon die Frage, ja, wir müssen Probleme der Förderung, wir hören gar nichts. Can the noise created by the pipes be reduced with other materials? In order to find this out, we set up an experiment. We want to know which possibilities exist for sound insulation. This stainless steel pipe is currently uninsulated and we will let plastic granulate be conveyed through it to see how loud the noise really is. The granulate we're using is a thermoplastic with a particle size of 2 to 3 cubic millimeters. First, the control test. Without any insulation around the pipe, it's loudest. 83.5 decibels. Now we want to insulate like mad. A conventional blanket is wrapped around the pipe in 12 layers. This isn't easy and doesn't look pretty. But we want to know how much is possible. 61.6 decibels. 12 layers of blanket insulates well, as you can see. As well as the blanket, we want to test air-filled packaging material, foam pipe insulation, and foil laminated rock wool pipe insulation. The air-filled packaging is relatively easy to fit. 77.4 decibels. An average insulation result. Now the secret favorite, foam pipe insulation should work particularly well with its air pockets. Fitting it, at least, is quick and unproblematic. 80.2 decibels. The result is sobering. Who would have thought it would insulate so poorly? Next, the stone wall. Fitting would have been easier if the insulation had been available in the correct size. The stone wool works well with a good insulation result, 74.2 decibels. Then it's Silent Line's turn. With a few adjustments, everything's ready. 71.4 decibels, the best result amongst the specialist insulation materials. And here are the results in detail. The overview shows that no other material insulates against noise better than Silent Line, unless, of course, you want to wrap your pipes in 12 layers of blanket. In a production environment, Silent Line trumps again by locating leaks. Because of the high speeds of conveying the granulate, you can easily imagine the enormous wear on the pipe material. Leaks cost more and more money the longer they cause a production to shut down. Therefore, being able to locate them quickly saves time and money. Silent Line can be fitted with pressure sensors or with simple leak detection devices which signal a leak inside the pipe. Because material is conveyed under vacuum, leaking air is sucked into the pipe in the event of a leak. This turns the wheel. A rotating movement catches the eye even from a distance. Dried material needs to arrive at the processing machine in a tempered state, even though it's been conveyed through a material feed line. In this case, a significant loss of heat is noticeable with conventional pipes. Comparable with insulation windows, Silent Line is far better at keeping the material at the right temperature, saving valuable energy costs. We have found that it's difficult to insulate noise as well as with Silent Line, 
and leak detection and energy savings are two sides of the same coin. That was our current issue of Mo's Corner TV, this time about silent line and noise emission. Additional information can be found on the web at www.moscorner.de. Until next time.